Rosa Bell, Sir W. Scott. There is a sad warning here. The young Rosa Bell loses her life while taking a ferry crossing against the advice of those more experienced. She does not want to miss the torch-lit excitement of a party and seeing family, friends, and possibly a love interest. It does not end well. Rosabelle. Oh, listen, listen, ladies gay, no haughty feet of arms I tell. Soft is the note and sad the lay that mourns the lovely Rosabelle. More and more the barge, ye gallant crew, and gentle lady deign to stay. Rest thee in castle raven shoe, nor tempt the stormy first today. The blackening wave is edged with white, to inch and rock the sea mews glide. The fishers have heard the water sprite, who screams for bold that wreck is nigh. Last night the gifted seer did view, a wet shroud swathed round lady gay. Then stay thee fair in raven shoe, why cross the gloomy firth today? Tis not because Lord Lindsay's heir tonight at Roslyn leads the ball, but that my lady mother there sits lonely in her castle hall. Tis not because the ring they ride, and Lindsay at the ring rides well, but that my sire the wine will chide if tis not filled by Rosabelle. Or, or Roslyn all that dreary night a wondrous blaze was seen to gleam, twas broader than the watchfire's light, and redder than the bright moonbeam. It glared on Roslyn's castled rock, it ruddied all the copsewood glen. Twas seen from Dryden's groves of oak, and seen from caverned Hawthorn den. Seemed all on fire that chapel proud, where Roslyn's chief son coffin lie, each baron for a sable shroud, sheathed in his iron panoply. Seemed all on fire within, around, deep sacristy and altars pale, Shone every pillar foliage bound, and glimmered all the dead men's mail. Blazed battlement and pinnet high, blazed every rose-carved buttress fair. So still they blaze when fate is nigh, the lordly line of high St. Clair. There are twenty of Roslyn's barons bold, lie buried within that proud chapel. Each one the holy vault doth hold, but the sea holds lovely Rosabelle. And each St. Clair was buried there, with candle, with book, and with knell. But the sea caves rung, and the wild winds sung, the dirge of lovely Rosabelle.